Here's an amazing question where you need to find the missing values. Missing values are represented by the question mark and are located on the outside and inside the star. Star is hosted inside the diamond. And this combined figure has numbers around it. For example, number 7 is at 11 o'clock. Number 28 at 1 o'clock. Then comes the missing number at 5 o'clock. And then there is a number 448 at 8 o'clock. In the center of the combined shape, there is also a missing number represented by the question mark. You have four different choices for the final value. Choice A, 98 and 1521. Choice B, 76 and 1629. Choice C, 101 and 1829. And last but not least, choice D, 112 and 1792. Take a close look at the shape to see if you can replace question marks with the correct value. Are you ready? I am on my end moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If problem seems very unusual for you, the problem of solving it is very typical. You need to look for patterns. And the pattern here is that the next value calculated as a previous value multiplied by 4. Values increment clockwise starting at 11 o'clock. And the missing value in the middle of the star is calculated last. Let's use the formula to calculate the missing value. First value at 11 o'clock is 7. Next value is 28, which is calculated as 7 multiplied by 4. Then we come to the first missing value at 5 o'clock. And missing value is calculated as 28 multiplied by 4, which equals 112. Next value at 8 o'clock is 112 multiplied by 4, which equals 448. And then the missing value in the center of the star is 448 multiplied by 4, which equals 1792. So the correct answer here is choice D, 112 and 1792. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Let's look at the question where you need to come up with the logical conclusion. Oxygen is a gas. This tank contains gas. Conclusion that was drawn based on these two statements is that this tank contains oxygen. You need to determine if this conclusion is correct and your choices are choice A true, choice B most likely true, choice C false and choice D cannot determine. Do you see the answer? Question is definitely worded very tricky but the answer is very obvious. Let's look into details. Obviously, there are many different types of gases. For example, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and a lot of others. Oxygen is just one of many gases, which is clearly indicated in the statement 1. And tank contains a gas, which could be one of many gases, which is shown in the statement 2. Based on this, there is not enough information to determine what type of gas is stored in the tank. So the correct choice here is choice D, cannot determine. Did you come up with the same conclusion? Please share your thoughts in comments. And now, here's the question for you to practice. You're presented with triangle, which is broken down into three equal horizontal parts. On the left side of the triangle, you see numbers 8, 4, and 3 if you go from the bottom to the top. And on the right side of the triangles, you see numbers 2, 6, and 1 number is missing. You need to select missing number from four different choices. Choice A, 6. Choice B, 10. Choice C, 7. And choice D, 2. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. If you figured out the solution, please make sure to post your answer in the comment section of this video so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here is one of my favorite questions where you need to do mental math calculations. You are presented with the group of four numbers. And this group has an average of 24. The first three numbers are 16, 22 and 34. You need to calculate the value of the missing number, which is represented as the question mark. 
and you have four different choices. Choice A, 24. Choice B, 26. Choice C, 18. And choice D, 21. Can you do the math? Did you find the answer? Let's move forward so we can get to the correct solution together. Obviously, to solve it, you can plug in one of the four solutions instead of the missing number, calculate the average to see which one is correct. But we're going to take the different route. In the first step, we're going to calculate the sum of three existing numbers. 16 plus 24 plus 34 equals 72. In the next step, we need to determine what would be the sum of four numbers for which average would be 24. To do this, we need to multiply 24 by 4 and the end result of this would be 96. And in the last step, we need to subtract the sum of three numbers from the total where the average will be 24 to calculate the fourth number. 96 minus 72 equals 24. Let's verify this. 16 plus 24 plus 34 plus missing number 24 divided by 4 equals 96 divided by 4 equals 24. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now I think is an excellent time for you to try your skills to see if you can solve the challenge. You need to determine approximate percentage of Tesla Model S sales in 2023. You're presented with the chart that shows sales by model between period of 2021 and 2024. And you have four different choices. Choice A, 20%, choice B, 27%, choice C, 33%, and then choice D, 40%. Give yourself a little bit of time, do the mental math, maybe pause this video to see if you can get to the correct solution. Once you're ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. I love this question because it really makes you think in order to get to the correct solution you need to determine which shape comes next in the sequence. And you're presented with the series of five shapes, squares one, two, three, and five have other smaller shapes inside. And you need to determine shape four. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Give yourself a little bit of time Look closely to see if you can get to the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's move forward and get to the correct solution together. You're probably tired hearing it, but my advice as usual, always look for patterns. And in this case, the pattern is location of the smaller shapes inside the square. You might have noticed that smaller shapes inside the circles are always diamond filled with black an oval with the black outline. This pattern is persistent for shapes 1, 2, 3, and 5. We can safely assume that the square 4 will have similar shapes inside, which automatically exclude choices B and C, only leaving possible choices as A and D. To solve this puzzle and get to the correct solution, we need to detect the second pattern. And second pattern is that oval is always next to the diamond, either to the right of the diamond or on top of the diamond. Based on this information, the correct choice here is choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. But in case you need more problems with solutions, please make sure to check out the description of this video. Here's the question for you to practice. You're presented with 10 letters and you need to form the words from English dictionary using all the letters only once. The letters are L, E, P, M, O, C, Y, T, I, X. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time because there are 10 letters. Let me give you a hint. The word somehow represents the fact that there are 10 letters. Hopefully you found the answer. Please make sure to post it in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's an interesting challenge where you need to determine the relationship between family members. Amin is Baska's sister. Catherine is Baska's mother. Dan is Catherine's father. And Alan is Dan's mother. 
you need to determine how Amin is related to them. And you have four different choices. Choice A, grandfather. Choice B, grandmother. Choice C, daughter. And choice D, granddaughter. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can navigate in this puzzle and get to the correct solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward, reveal the answer to you, and explain how I got to the solution. And as usual, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. The easiest way to determine this multi-generational relationship in the family is to build a diagram. Let's do it one step at a time. Amin is Baska's sister. Catherine is Baska's mother. Dan is Catherine's father. And Ellen is Dan's mother. Now let's look at the conclusions we can draw from this diagram. Amin and Baska are Catherine's children. Since Dan is Catherine's father, Amin and Baska are Dan's grandkids, which means that Amin is Dan's granddaughter. So the correct choice here is choice D, granddaughter. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to diagram and solve similar problems on the test. Here's the cool question that you frequently get on the test. You're presented with four different letters and you need to guess the word using all letters presented. The letters we have are W, O, B, and L. Can you guess the word? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, let's go ahead and reveal the solution. The correct answer here is ball, which is spelled as B, O, W, and L. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. I love this question because it seems simple, but it allows you to show all your brain power. And instead of answering it for you, I'd like you to show off and practice your skills. You're presented with 10 words and you need to identify all synonyms to the word accountant. 10 words are carpenter, mason, actuary, teacher, auditor, analyst, bookkeeper, engineer, controller, and treasurer. Question is so cool because there could be between 1 and 10 answers. Give yourself a little bit of time and when you're ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments. This will allow me to give you feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's a tricky problem that you might find challenging to solve. You're presented with the pyramid. Top of the pyramid starts with the missing number that you need to calculate. If you go down, second row contains numbers 29 and 34. Next row contains numbers 11, 15 and 16. Following row has numbers 4, 5, 8 and 6. And then the last row has numbers 2, 1, 3, 4 and 1. You need to calculate the missing number, which is in the top row, and you have four different choices. Choice A, 59. Choice B, 63. Choice C, 67. And then choice D, 73. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, to see if you can answer this question. Did you solve it? Or was it hard for you? Let's move forward and I'll share with you my solution. But obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post it in comments. Tricky problem, don't you think so? But the solution to this challenge is really simple. To calculate it correctly, you need to move from the bottom to the top. And if you look closely at the pyramid, you will notice that the higher row is calculated as the sum of bottom values plus the increment. An increment also increases with each row by one. Let me demonstrate. If we look at the numbers in the bottom left corner of the pyramid, you see numbers 2 and 1. Sum of 2 and 1 is 3, but then we add the value of the increment, which is 1, and the calculated value is 4. Let's continue with the sequence. Next set of numbers is 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. 
and then we need to add the value of the increment which also increased by 1. So now instead of being plus 1, the increment is plus 2. 4 plus 5 plus 2 equals 11. Based on this information, the missing value can be calculated as 29 plus 34 plus the value of the increment, which would be plus 4, which equals 63 plus 4, which equals to 67. So the correct choice here is choice C, 67. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems in the test. A lot of you are interested and ask me, how can I help others? One of the ways you can help other people is by sharing the latest questions you see as part of the assessment test. And when you share, please make sure to also include how you answered them. Please share the question you recently encountered in the comment section of this video. And if you know the answers, please share them as well. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's the interesting question where you need to calculate the missing number. You're presented with numbers 11, 44, 99, and you need to continue the sequence and determine the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 111. Choice B, 133. Choice C, 155. And choice D, 176. Do you think you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can calculate the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the answer to you as well as the calculations. And in fact, the solution for this problem is rather simple. You just need some creativity and energy to get it solved. My advice to you, always look for patterns. Let's look at the pattern for this particular question. The way first three numbers are calculated is by multiplying the single digits incrementally. For example, the first number is 1 multiplied by 11, which is 11. The second number is 2 multiplied by 22, which equals 44. The third number is 3 multiplied by 33, which equals 99. So the missing number can be calculated as 4 multiplied by 44, which equals 176. So the correct choice here is choice D, 176. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. I love this question because you need to determine relationship between the shapes. And you need to determine which shape has similar relationship to rectangle. If you take a close look, you will see that there are other smaller shapes inside the larger shapes. And you have four different choices to choose from the final answer. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Have you tried solving it? Were you successful? Let's move forward so we can get to the correct solution together. To determine the correct answer in this case, and in a lot of other cases, you need to look for patterns. And the pattern in this particular case is that to build the relationship, inside shape becomes outside shapes, preserving the number of the inside to outside shapes ratio. If you look closely at the relationship presented in this question, you see that the red triangle has green ovals inside. And it has a relationship to green oval that has red triangles inside. Knowing this, we need to determine the relationship of the blue square that has pentagons inside to one of four shapes presented in possible answers. Do you see it now? All you need to do in this particular answer is to take the pentagon which is inside the square, enlarge it and put blue squares inside. So as you might have guessed, the correct answer here is choice B. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. If you're trying to improve your English vocabulary, this question might be for you. You need to identify all synonyms to the word accountant. The choices presented to you are carpenter, mason, actuary, teacher, auditor, analyst, bookkeeper, engineer, controller, and treasurer. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video, because there could be between 1 and 10 answers. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and share with you my solution. But obviously, if you have a better one, 
please make sure to share in comments. I found five similar words. They are actuary, auditor, bookkeeper, controller, and treasurer. I believe these words are similar because they represent financial jobs in the organization. For example, actuary is a person who compiles and analyzes statistics to calculate risks for the organization. Auditor is the person who inspects company's accounting and finance. Bookkeeper is a person whose job is to record financial affairs of the business. Controller is the person in charge of organization's finances to eliminate abuse and ensure systems of checks and balances. And finally, the treasurer is the person who is appointed to administer or manage financial assets and liabilities of the organization. Do you see any other words I might have missed? Please make sure to share in comments. Can you tell us how many questions did you answer correctly? Please make sure to post in the comment section of this video to share with others. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. One of the very hard challenges is forming the words using certain number of letters of the English alphabet. In this question, you're presented with 10 letters and you need to form the word using all the letters only once. The letters are N, V, A, O, I, T, and T, I, O, M. Do you see the word here? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 20 to 30 seconds. Hopefully you solved it because I am moving forward and revealing the solution. As you might have guessed, the word is motivation. Let me spell it for you. M O T I V A T I O N. And the definition of the motivation is that motivation is a reason person acts or behave in particular way. It is also a process that initiates, guides, and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. Believe it or not, but doing more practice exercises helps you get better with the skill of forming the word. For example, if you start with the bottom right corner, you can form the word motivation. You see M-O and then you swap T-I and then if you continue, you go V-A T-I-O-N. You can solve these types of challenges better if you do more crosswords and puzzles. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections, or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.